Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Merce Montez, M-U-R-S-C-M-O-N-T-E-Z. And what we talk about here, nursing, travel nursing, fitness, health. Today, we're talking about interviews, and I'm going to help you crush any interview and get any job every time. Let's go. Okay, everyone, before we dive into the interview and the questions, we also need to know how to dress. So the suit in the middle is not the suit that we want to imitate because it's a little bit too loud and not professional for a professional setting. The suit that we're imitating is the one on the far right and the legs on the far left. Hair needs to be recently cut. Our shirt can be white or blue. Solid or conservatively patterned tie. No bright or flashy colors. I do have on a red bow tie in this picture. It would be better to wear a regular tie of a darker color. If we do want to add colors, we can do it by way of a pocket square, but only use the square fold. Two or three buttons on our coat. Jacket sleeve should not extend past our knuckles. Half inch shirt cuff exposure. In terms of our pants, if we're tall, we cuff them. If we're short, we uncuff them. Our shoes need to be polished. So in this instance, it would be better to wear a darker shoe of black or navy color. And in terms of neutral colors that we could wear in a, in a professional setting, it's going to be black, navy blue, gray, or brown. And other colors can be used as accents. All right, everyone. You want to crush the interview and you want to get the job. Well, I can help you do that. If you follow these tips, the likelihood of you getting that job increases exponentially. All right, so let's think about it like this. An interview is nothing more than your ability to convince the person interviewing you that you are qualified for this position and you deserve to work for this facility. That's all it is. So relax and breathe because you can do this. You can do this. You can get the job. So some main questions that you're going to hear is tell me about yourself. Why do you think that you're qualified for this specialty? Why did you choose this facility? And what do you see yourself in five years? So let's start with the first question. Tell me about yourself. What they want to know is your education. And they want to know why did you choose this particular career path? Okay. They're trying to see if your personality and characteristics work for their healthcare system. So prove to them that they do, all right? Second question, why do you think you're qualified to work in this specialty? All you've got to do is cross-reference. For example, let's say that you worked in mass search and you're trying to be in ICU, all right? Look up similarities on each unit and tell them, well, I acquired these particular skills in mass search, but I've done research and also know that these skills are similar to the ones that I would need for ICU. All right? Make your responses very compelling and be confident and knowledgeable in your answers. Okay? And also do research on your facility so that you can get them facts as to why you want to work for that for that facility because they want to see that you went and did research, that you are self-driven, that you don't need someone running behind you telling you what to do, that you are a go getter that's the impression that you need to make and the last question what do you see yourself in five years is really them saying are you going to give me a response that shows that you're looking for your longevity all right so i encourage you to take two routes that's going to be education or that's going to be a manager route so with education you're telling them that you want to go back to further your degree now, in order to go back you're going to need funding you're going to need a consistent check every week or every two weeks, depending on how you get paid, to fund you while you go back to school. So when you tell them that you're looking to go back to get some more education, what they hear is that you're looking to stay somewhere so that you can continue to fund it to afford to go back to school. So you're looking for longevity, all right? Or you can take the manager route and say that you're looking to stay somewhere and build up so that you can get into a charge position a manager position or an administrative position. So, so when you tell them that you're looking to be a manager, well, they hear that you're looking to stay somewhere. You're looking for longevity. All right. Because that's really what it boils down to when you do an interview. They're looking to see if you fit the position in that you're going to stay because they want you to stay. They don't want you. They don't want to hire someone. Then that person quit next month. They want to hire someone. Then they be around for the next year or two. All right. And so last but not least, what I encourage you to do is have some questions of your own. 
So if you worked at a previous hospital, previous nursing home, previous jail, prison, doesn't matter. Do research on how things were run there, all right? And then when you're interviewing for the new facility, ask them, do they do it like this here? Or what are significant differences? For example, what did they put the crash cart, all right? How do they call the codes? Things that you need to know, all right? Because this shows that you have interest in learning about the facility, about the policies, before you even get the job, you're already interested. You're already asking questions. That's a good look for you. Also, if you didn't work at a previous facility, let's just say you graduated, you just graduated. Well, you can still ask how things work on particular units, but you can also ask about benefits, healthcare, dental. You can also ask about 401ks. You can also ask about social security, things that require you to stay for a long period of time to build it up, right? That's also showing a sense of longevity when you ask questions about things like that. And that's really what they want to know. So what you need to keep in mind is that you need to be knowledgeable. You need to be confident. You need to come dress professionally and you need to do your research and your responses need to give off a sense of longevity. If you can remember to do those things, it will be hard not to hire you. If you implement these things in your interview, all right? That's it, guys. I'll see you on the next video.